happy to be invited to Brighton again. So uh, I remember a very wonderful feeling, uh, and also Paprika is the best thing in the world in art fields, I think. Yeah. Okay, maybe it's better I start uh, just talking about my works. I was studying painting in the beginning, and uh, very soon I felt that painting is a little bit uh, somehow I don't know, I felt it's too easy. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, in a way, I, I didn't, uh, I felt I need some more, uh, more respond and more, uh, to make it more difficult for me. So, I, in a way, I, I, painting was not enough. First, I made painting that ha were more three-dimensional and I added something on it and uh, then I made uh, some uh, more sculptural sculptures coming out from the painting, and uh, then I made uh, sculptures that go through the walls, and in the end I went outside. I wanted to make uh, uh, works outside without any walls around, so I felt free. So I like to make installations uh, uh, outside uh, in public spaces a lot. Uh, but also, I have uh, so make, uh, I made some gallery works. But uh, in the beginning, I felt very much uh, I wanted to. I felt that not so many people go to art galleries or art museums, and I felt that I want uh, my art. Uh, in a way, I wanted to give my art to anybody, not only for these people who are so involved in art life, but also like normal people on the street. So, this was one of the reasons. So here is one of, of my first uh, things. Uh, uh, in Finland, Helsinki, we had the metro at that time, very new, and uh, uh, they invited me to make something for metro station. So, I am. Uh, I was born in a little city in the northern Finland. Uh, we have in Finland. We have a lot of lakes. So I thought uh, uh, maybe metro is a kind of river of today. So uh, I wanted uh, to. In a way, I killed wooden boats that were uh, wo like when I was a child. I was fishing a lot with my father. With, uh, with this kind of boat, I was rowing, and my father was fishing w with the nets. So, uh, in a way, I wanted to give uh, an idea that uh, the modern society is not here for free. That uh, there has been many generations before us making a lot of work. So, in a way, I, I with this kind of work, wanted to give the memory of uh, the past. Uh, generations. And uh, so I killed these boats. I put, cut them in two pieces and put them uh, high in the, uh, the metro station. So this was uh, one installation that I made. Uh, and the boat uh, has been uh, very near to me in many ways. I have been dealing without understanding, but many times it comes again in my art. Uh, this is also like a memory of my childhood, like many of my artworks. There is a history behind, or I'm a very simple person, so my own, own experience of life is uh, important. Excuse me, I couldn't hear, sir. Okay. Do I speak too? Hmm. Louder, is it better? Like this? Ah! <coughs> I can hear now. Yeah, but my English is uh, no, stupid. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. So, uh, this is uh, also uh, about the same time, uh, first time when I was using men's jackets. I just felt uh, uh, very close. To, to a man's jacket, and uh, uh, at that time I didn't really uh, think about that so much, that why I felt, but I just wanted 
to make art out of it and uh, I made this kind of installation uh, that go around uh, the gallery space. So uh, the gallery space was quite uh, uh, dark, uh, you could, you, there was no light like this, but uh, the, the light in this photo is taking because the photographer wanted to put some light but uh, it was like a kind of a chimney how do you say in English like very little light and uh, uh, when people enter they didn't really see that what are these mm. things and they had to go close and then they understand they were sackets like this uh, so this was first time when I felt that uh, uh, People interpret art in very many different ways, depending on their own background. It was very interesting for me because uh, there was uh, one old man who told me that I am. Uh, he feels that I talk about him. That uh, he's going to die very soon. He feels, and uh, he thinks that my art is talking about him going to die very soon. And uh, uh, there was uh, one person who got, uh, who was without work and uh, he felt that I'm talking about his problem. And uh, also there was one lady, young lady who was telling that uh, uh, he, she has this problem, she doesn't find any husband. And uh, she feels like that, uh, that all the men look the same. <laughs> so, uh, very many people reacted in very different ways. Also, there was a newspaper article who talks that I am against a labor union <laughs> in this work. So, uh, yeah, this gave me a new idea about what art is. It's not about that I am the artist. Uh, I think uh, that the, the viewer is an artist. Uh, so we are together. We make the artwork together. Not only me, but uh, the viewer is it's a similar kind of... I think uh, that people uh, need art uh, uh, for their own reasons. And I'm happy if art can make uh, uh, or give a kind of new point of view of life or new point of view of uh, your own life for all. Yeah. New way to see. This was the uh, first time I felt why this uh, jacket uh, is so why does it bring so warm feelings to me? So uh, I put the title of Father here for this work. It was in the beginning of the 90s. So uh, my father dies, died when I was a child. Uh, but uh, it was very big uh, thing because he died in front of my eyes very suddenly with heart attack. And uh, I was hiding. I, I was. I wanted to escape, but uh, I couldn't escape uh, because he saw me hiding when he died. And uh, after that, I always feel, still feel guilty. Somehow, feeling guilt is always there. That uh, uh, and. Uh, uh <coughs> after his death, I wanted to wear his clothes. So I wanted to feel his arms around me. So when I was like uh, uh, 13, 14, I was wearing his jackets when I was in school and there. Uh, and uh, his uh, also shirts I had, I wanted to make them smaller and uh, to keep them very close to me. So, uh, so in, in a way, uh, 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 when I was like, uh, I never thought art, I was thinking my duty is to save people's lives. So I went uh, to study medicine and physics. I wanted to be a scientist. So I studied six years in the university to be a scientist. Uh, and then I changed my life when I was 26. 
This I made in Ireland, Dublin. This was a kind of a waterfall before. So uh, I made a, a new waterfall with blue jackets. And uh, in this photo you can't see, but it is uh, the similar, exactly the same width than uh, the kind of road in front of this work. So when you were walking towards my work, so from far you could see only the kind of dark blue square. You didn't understand what it is, but when you get closer you can see it's made of, of uh, jackets and uh, it's blue. Now this is about my mother. <laughs> my mother, I'm very simple, like I have only father and mother and myself, so this is my art. My mother was, af after my father's death, so I felt uh, that father is my hero. I wanted to dress like a man and I, 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 in a way I took the part of a uh, father in our family with the mother with three, three daughters. So I was kind of, uh, uh, yeah, I felt I wanted uh, to be like uh, my father. And I, that's why also the jacket was kind of, um, I felt it's my self-portrait when I make works with the uh, jackets. But <coughs> yeah, my father, mother was very feminine, like a uh, uh, beautiful uh, things. And I was very ugly compared with, uh, I felt, I hate all kind of feminine female clothes and uh, high heel shoes or, and uh, makeup things. And, uh, and my, I remember my mother told that the what is the most ugly, ugliest thing, clothing in the world. So Karna will buy it and keep it. We, are, we were very much opposite. So, uh, yeah. This is about my mother's dancing shoes. And uh, I would do, there's a fish inside. Uh, maybe you can't see, but there's a fish head. Because I was, uh, we, I was when I was a little child, we were uh, fishing a lot with my father, and uh, I had to eat a lot of fish. And uh, two months, <laughs> I never eat fish a anymore. So. <laughs> well, because when I was like, uh, uh, like seven year old, I think uh, I went to school and the school they gave, I was never eating enough, uh, so they had to give me more food. They put some, my mother put some fish, uh, soup. Okay, I'm, I'm not, uh, I don't need to tell everything. But uh, this is uh, when my mother died, uh, not so long time ago. Uh, I had to make, uh, I had a feeling that I have to make an artwork. Uh, so this artwork is uh, made of uh, her belongings. So in a way I had a feeling all of these things has done their duty serving my mother. So uh, in a way I murdered them, I cut them in pieces, so these uh, all belongings are in uh, bro process to be flies or birds or something like that. So the title of this work is the same song that we were singing in, in her funeral. So uh, I thought that uh, they have to go with my mother to the other side. Yeah. So. There's a process, uh, they are uh, going to be like uh, animals. So this was this work. All kind of these feminine uh, things that I, I was before not uh, a little bit afraid of them. Okay, so after that, I, I the, uh, the uh, for the first time I start to cut uh, in a way that this high heel 
source. So uh, the first ones were originally my, 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 my mother's, but later uh, I buy all the source that are similar that my mother used to have, a similar kind of high heel source. And uh, uh, I give the title uh, uh, A Queen of Night, uh, The Queen of Night, for this work. Uh, because my mother used to have a, a flower, the, and uh, the name of this flower is uh, the Queen of Night, uh, that is blooming only one night. Maybe you know this kind of flower, very beautiful, very good smell. And uh, my mother used to wake us up with children. We had to be wake up and uh, admire this flower the whole night. Uh, so. Uh, and also in this work, uh, uh, there are some uh, parts of my memories of, of my bad dreams also. Like uh, I had uh, this kind of dream that uh, there's an animal in my eye and it's around my eye and uh, moving all the time. And when I try to take this animal away, so I feel that my eye will uh, drop. So then I can't see. So if I, I be able to see, I have to keep this animal in my eye. So uh, I had uh, this kind of bad dream. Maybe at the time when I was changing from from uh, medicine to art or something, I don't remember. Maybe it was very strong, very many times the same dream. So here I put uh, this bad dreams and, uh, and uh, good love of my mother, everything together in, in a way to have a good and uh, ugly and bad and good in the same artwork. So I just open uh, the shoe. I don't add anything. I just open it. Okay, this is already the next artwork. So all, all these shoes, they were on spoons in a way also because I remember mother giving me this fish soup. So I, I pay back. <laughs> <laughs> this artwork I made uh, uh, in Finland, uh, there was a big, big uh, accident, uh, Estonia accident. Uh, in this year, year uh, 1,000 people drowned. Uh, in 19, no, it was 94, October, November. Maybe you don't know here in England about this, but in many Swedish and Finnish people uh, died because of this accident. And uh, there, it was in the news that uh, there was an interview, and they were telling this young man is a hero because he could survive uh, from this accident and uh, this man was telling that please don't call me as a hero but all the heroes drowned because they had to fight uh, who is the one who, uh, who is strong enough to go to the sailing boat uh, so they had to push to the others away and i am the winner who who, who can climb to the sailing bo bo boat and uh, he tells that he uh, can hear all the women uh, screaming around uh, the boat uh, uh, in the water. And uh, I felt very bad and I felt that, uh, because I was pregnant at that time when this accident happened, uh, so I felt uh, me and uh, my children and my mother, we would uh, have drowned because all the women uh, try to save their children, they don't uh, uh, fight for their sin for themselves, I think. I thought that uh, these men, uh, only the young, strong men, it's very hard if uh, the water is very stormy to go into the saving boat. So after that, I, I felt my duty because I w was f studying physics. So I know I know how to make a design, new design that uh, I, I make made a lot of effort to design new kind of saving boat that uh, also children or people even without any possibility to climb anywhere could be saved from the water. I was thinking about fishing nets and uh, 
that all uh, it takes even a little uh, baby from the water that everybody is saved I tried to make this kind of system around the boat but I, then I was sending these my proposals everywhere but nobody ever answered so after that I made this artwork uh, this is journey home I made uh, this in, in the beginning of June and my boy was born in the end of the same month. So what I is remember. it made of? Ah. Sorry, what is it made of? It is a uh, men's jacket and plaster around. This work uh, uh, is very important for me. I had a, a dream for this work many years beforehand. Uh, and uh, this is the main church in Finland, uh, Helsinki Cathedral. And I buy a lot of men's jackets, 3,200. And uh, also people give me shirts. I was collecting them. And, uh, people donated a lot of them. Not shirts, but uh, this was jackets. So uh, it was in the year 2000. The title is Way. I, I was thinking it is a, a kind of self-portrait. So in a way, it, it is a kind of a struggle of life. I was thinking that uh, uh, a kind of process that a person in his life uh, tries to find uh, something that is more or deep or more important, uh, more essential. So in a way, step by step, uh, get uh, like a kind of a deeper meaning of life. But uh, uh, in a f f way I felt that, that I, I want to enter the church, but I cannot, uh, so I will uh, stay on the steps. But, uh, <coughs> yeah, this was a very big uh, discussion in Finland about this work, so very many people were angry and uh, uh, newspaper articles against this work that uh, this should be taken away and also uh, some lady called that uh, I, uh, how terrible it is that in Finland uh, some uh, woman artists make this kind of work that only men can enter the church that where are all the women that uh, half of it should be women and half of it should be men. And then some men were uh, writing in the newspaper that uh, Karina uses men as her carpet on the way to church. <laughs> so I'm stepping, stepping on men. And also one mother was calling that uh, it's terrible because her daughter wedding in the church is going to be in 10 days. So take it away <laughs> because, but I was thinking that uh, it's wonderful for the couple to enter the church but uh, they felt that I destroyed the wedding it, there was a lot of discussion and after so much feedback I understood I have to put some paper in the cafeteria that is very close to this place and I put some paper and a pen there and then uh, more than 100 people who went uh, and uh, write me a letter what uh, do they think about this piece of art it was very wonderful it was there only for 10 days and I, I didn't uh, tell anybody beforehand that I'm going to put it there so, so it was such, suddenly it came and the people were astonished and uh, then in 10 days we take it away so Every morning I came there at five. I couldn't sleep in these days. I was afraid people will steal them or throw them away because it was not attached in, in any way. And there no no kind of card there. But people did not did not destroy the work. There were people brought me new. There were like many levels. They uh, participated. Uh, many times I, I see because uh, 
when I was uh, afraid, uh, I, I wanted to be there all the time, but I, was, I didn't want that people understand that I am the artist. So I wanted to dress like a tourist I, with a camera. I was not hanging around like anybody else, and uh, I was sitting in my ladder, uh, on my car. So, well, in, I remember one time somebody knocked in the window and uh, told me that you must be the artist. <laughs> And he told me that, I want to tell you that uh, I had to change my uh, road to, to work. Uh, every morning I, now I have to walk much longer because I have to see this work every morning. <laughs> because I have a feeling that uh, my blood pressure comes lower and I feel much uh, peaceful when I see this work. So I have to come so many times again and again. So he wanted to thank you, and uh, this was very important for me because uh, I never thought that art can make a kind of a physical feeling that uh, you uh, feel more peaceful when you see this. Uh, it was uh, very, ma in many ways, this work was very important. Uh, ah. This was wonderful. Here it is. This was in Finland. Uh, this is only detail. The other half of the work is inside the building. building. And when you enter inside the, or this road, you can enter. And when you enter, it is all also like a, a dim. Do you say dim light when it's not? much like. Mm -hmm. So uh, then you see you are inside a boat. It, it turns other way right. A little bit like here, but uh, when you enter your eye, you see that uh, there are a lot of clothing under your feet that you are in a boat. It, it was huge building. It's very big uh, work. Mm. And uh, after that I was invited to Havana Biennale and uh, there I made uh, this kind of uh, idea of boat again. It's a similar idea a little that we had in Fabrica, that the other part of the boat is on the other side. Uh, so if I talk about, uh, uh, wait a minute. for example, uh, this work, uh, so I had a feeling that the, the other part of the work is on the other side, in, in, a, in a way, like, a, and I was, uh, my, my thoughts were the history of Brighton to be the, uh, the city where England went uh, to overseas and to other, conquer every country, you know, in, before it was like that in the history. So in a way, I wanted to have this feeling that uh, this boat cannot move. <coughs> okay. Here a little bit uh, similar feeling in Havana, but uh, this was very uh, important in Cuba at that time. Especially many people escaped from Cuba to Miami. That was uh, very uh, not far away. So very many people drowned uh, on the way to Miami. So. Uh, many Cuban, and there were some black colored, uh, skin was black with these people who came to tell me that, uh, why you put uh, the black to be the last one? Why always blacks are the last one? So I say, why do you think like that? Why don't you think that uh, they are the first ones? But uh, yeah, this kind of discussions we had uh, that uh, the, the color of, of the jacket is the symbol of, of the color of the skin. It was a kind of a big, big, uh, no, my English, it used to be full of water, this, before this place. Okay, this work I made in the city where I was born, because my cousin uh, died in, in the car accident. Uh, so after this, his death, I wanted uh, 
make this kind of artwork that uh, you please kill me in a, in a way that I uh, don't kill people. You can ki in the way I, the, this artwork is a symbol my of me, and uh, then I put to, without any sign I put to an artwork across the street, and then I was sitting in the car and watching how people react. So. Uh, I was crying when I saw that people really wanted to to kill my artwork. They wanted to drive over it. Uh, but some people do, didn't want the, uh, They turned away and took another road. But uh, uh, yeah, people uh, drive a lot. Some people very, very much wanted to drive uh, gassing like that. Uh, so it was here for uh, two weeks, and in the end, uh, when I saw one car parked uh, just uh, on uh, these white uh, jackets, so then I took it away. I thought that's enough. But uh, it was very, like, uh, how do you say that? Uh, in a, in a way, I, I w it was new for me myself that how much feeling it was uh, to put your art on the street and uh, then people can walk over and uh, park their car and drive and in a way kill uh, the artwork. It's very sad feeling when, when you, your, uh, in a way your child is killed uh, like that, that people destroy it on purpose. But uh, this is, uh, I'm a little bit masochistic person. <laughs> I needed uh, to, do, to, do, to do this. This was also in England, in Rochester Cathedral. It's beautiful, it's wonderful. This was in the original, pre uh, the, the in the earlier days there was a very little church. So this is the place of the original church like hundreds, thousands of years ago. So for this place I made uh, this kind of uh, artwork in this uh, Rochester Cathedral. Yeah, this is a kind of big landscape uh, title and it was empty. And this was uh, in Wyoming Art Museum. It's huge. It's uh, like 16, meet, 16 meters long and uh, kind of big, big installation. Yeah, it's about uh, like maybe all of my artwork is about uh, like uh, the life is short and the one human being is not so very important. Uh, that the nature is uh, bigger. This is uh, my self-portrait. Uh, it's made of toilet paper. I was thinking that toilet paper is uh, the best material for my self-portrait. It's made, it's not made to be here forever like gold or stone or something like that, but it's made uh, to be destroyed, to disappear. So I thought that I am also like that. Uh, just for one minute I fly here and uh, and then uh, everybody forgets, and uh, then I go away. So, so this artwork is like that. It, it is made of, of finished toilet paper, and uh, uh, you, when you walk around it, it moves. So, in a way, uh, I was thinking that uh, my identity is, in a way depending on surroundings, so it's easy to destroy. Some, in some surroundings you feel yourself very big and strong, but in some other surroundings you can feel yourself very small. And uh, uh, so, and w vulnerable in, in a way, so this, is, uh, this work is kind of symbol of that and also it's in uh, another surrounding in Denmark. Uh, this was in Venice. Uh, 
uh, this work is talking about uh, immigrants, uh, the feeling of, of uh, water. It starts uh, from the water, a part of these people, uh, for me this clothing is people, so they already drowned in the water. Only part of these people could survive to the steps, and uh, uh, part of them could enter to this uh, uh, space from the water, and the, re uh, the, the few are happy dancing here in the courtyard in Venice because they could survive. <laughs> This is kind of artwork in many steps, in many levels, so it's called uh, the gate. This was also in Italy. Mm, for me, this work is a kind of my personal story about me hiding under the kitchen table when my father died. But it's all, of course, it's only for me, myself. In a way, there was a kind of light in the middle of the table. And, uh, yeah, when uh, sun energy. So, in the evening, the light came out. This was another work, an installation in Helsinki, above the street. Uh, in, in the night, we had kind of <coughs> a special light uh, show. This was in Poland. Uh, <laughs> the connection is uh, the title. It was coming from the uh, earth in a way, and it was long. It, it used to be an old textile factory, so it went around uh, the factory, and uh, uh, then in the end it called back to the earth. This was in Sweden. Yeah, it was uh, uh, the feeling uh, th we are all in the same boat. Uh, this boat have a harbor, has a harbor, a little stone in the middle of the water, and when it's very calm, it comes down uh, in this harbor. But when in a very little wind, uh, it goes up, and it's, it's sailing on the sky. <coughs> You see the water is almost calm, but the work is still like a little bit moving. It was wonderful feeling. It was like this in the middle of Eskilstuna, Sweden. And this is quite recent work in Chile. <laughs> It's very huge, but it's not uh, in images you cannot see, but uh, I made it in March this year in Chile. And the title for this work is Dialogues. So for me, because uh, this beautiful museum uh, with a glass cupola, so for me uh, this work kind of uh, dialogue between the sky and uh, uh, the work and these people and uh, and uh, also there were wi women and men that similar in this work I used equal amount of clothing for women and equal for men so they were opposite side they were looking at each other uh, discussing calmly with each other and uh, so but uh, in Chile I made also another work uh, for another museum this is a museum of memory and human rights. And uh, uh, this museum is uh, uh, because of the history of Chile having this uh, dictatorship. And uh, so I made another installation uh, that is outside. But I'm sorry I didn't uh, have time to put the image here. So, But maybe in the internet you can find uh, if you are interested. Uh, these images. Okay. Maybe that was it enough? Too much already? I'm sorry, Liz. <laughs>